Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we did levels 4, 5, and 6 here of the Plant Puzzle Epic Quest. And this time we're going to finish it off by doing levels 7 and 8. And oh boy, have I been dreading this because I've been really struggling with this Epic Quest. I imagine these last two levels are going to be insane. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to think about this for a moment. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the frost I'm dragging up close. Let's get the tall nuts up the front as well. I imagine they're gonna be useful. I also have a hypno shroom too. Interesting. Let's get that spring bean up in front. Uh, we're gonna need some serious help up top. I'm actually gonna want a tall nut up here for this balloon guy. And then we're gonna get the cold snap dragon in place here. And then let's get the pea shooter here for that imp. That should work out. Actually, let me get the wheat slinger here so it's more able to hit more rows, you know. Okay, uh, for this guy, let's get fire pea up in here. And then we also need a pea shooter for this imp. Okay, let's get the fire pea shooter out on this coral cage zombie right away. And then we also want a pea shooter for this imp. Is it worth doing this to this balloon guy? This balloon guy has so much health. Okay, there we go. And let's get another pea shooter just to like really reinforce that I don't want this guy alive. And let's get the cold snap dragon in a row where he can hit him as well. Alright, I see the octopus guy. We need to get the fire pea on that guy right away. Cannot be allowed to live. Actually, I need a. Let's put the coal snap dragon here. So I'm saving the balloon guy and the and the coral cager. Let's also get the fire pea out for octopus guy here. Uh, that's a problem. I'm not sure how I want to go about. Let's get let's get this up for this um these imps up here. I really okay. I, really, I was gonna say I really need that surfboarder dead. Now did, can he hit the spring bean? I wonder. I don't think he can, right? He would have done it by now, I think. Well, shoot. Maybe I should actually set him up. Actually, let's get. Okay, let's move him up here to deal with octopus guy, and then I'll move the coal snap dragon up here as well because I'm gonna need it for the coral cager guy anyway in a moment. Alright, Imp on the bottom just died. We can swap that pea shooter in. Um, I can move this fire pea now to help out with him. Don't eat that chili bean imp. Okay, good. Yeah, let's get the fire pea on this guy now. I'm also gonna move the wheat slinger back here. And I think we will here, let's let's just, uh actually let's let's swap this guy out here. And then I'm gonna need the fire pea to help out here. Actually, you know what I could do better? I can... Actually, let's do that. Okay, and then I can actually put pea shooter here to help out. Okay, never mind. We need to put the... We need to put the cold snap dragon up top now. Here, let's uh, hurricane this guy. I'm gonna need some serious help down here. Let's hit the cold snap dragon on these. I might blow this guy away. Yeah, because he's gonna destroy that. Come on, get rid of that guy, please. I feel like I've been underutilizing the, um... What am I trying to say? I've been underutilizing... The, um... Man, what am I trying to say here? The spring bean, that's what I'm trying to say. Here, let's see if we can use that right now. Against this guy here.
Hmm. I'm gonna have to use the Hypno Shroom at some point. There, we need to clear out this row for it though. Can I swap? Oh, I can't swap him. Dang it. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna have to use a lawnmower for this then. You know, we'll get we'll get the uh, hypno shroom involved here. I think. Oh shoot! What is happening down here? Uh, that balloon guy might go off. Um, yeah, I can't stop that. Oh, the balloon guy can just go over the lawnmowers. No! I thought I was doing so well. Okay, guys. I'm back. This is my ninth attempt at this level right now, if you believe it or not. Uh, I've learned quite a few things trying out this level. Over and over and over again. Uh, number one, gotta use Weed Slingers to take out Balloon Zombies ASAP. And pretty sure the first one comes in the middle row. I also want Spring Beans and Tall Nuts in the right rows. Okay, so this Balloon Guy, um, if he gets too close, you know, without being hurt by the Weed Slinger, the Cold Snap Dragon has to take him out. And he just takes too long by himself to take out a Balloon Zombie. That's not really an option. He needs to be hit by those Weed Slingers. Like that. You need two Weed Slingers to take out every balloon, essentially. And I think you... Uh, also, let's get this. We want the Fire Pea Shooter to take out that guy quickly. And then we're going to start hammering away at this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's get... Let's get the Fire Pea there. Just quickly deal with that imp. And now we can go full ham on this guy. Yeah, normally these guys get too close, I like to try and throw the spring green out in front of them. I think that's what they're meant for, and then use the Hypno Shroom as like a last resort. If we can save the Hypno Shroom for like... Oh, shoot. So there's too many things to like, worry about right now. You can also kind of dodge the Octopi by doing that, like a last minute swap. See, I'm pretty sure this balloon zombie hasn't been hit very much, so he still has very much a lot of his health. In general, I think it's best to just keep the Wheat Slingers as far back as possible. Which, which is what I'm going to set up right now. Actually, let's get a fire pee hitting this guy. This guy's getting a little too close. Good, okay. If you get a fire pee against a surfboard guy, I think you're pretty safe. Because the idea is to not let their surfboards get planted. Okay, fire pee's already in the right spot there. We want octopi, octopi guys to die ASAP. Okay, let's use the spare pea shooter we have to hit that guy. Beautiful, beautiful. I think we're doing pretty well. We gotta be prepared to move the fire pea shooter though. Yeah, we're gonna move the fire pea there. Oh shoot, I'm messing this all up. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna spring bean this guy back. And then move a, a tall nut in there. And then we need to move the cold snap dragon over here. To hit the balloon zombie. Yeah, let's, let's keep the let's keep the wheat slinger in the back. Oh wait, no, the wheat slinger needs to hit the balloon guy. Alright, now I can set sick the fire pee on this guy. Beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, let's get the fire P to help out here. I'm gonna push this Wheat Slinger a little further back. Okay. Oh my gosh, like, what am I doing? Uh, somehow, whatever I'm doing appears to be working. Wait, I'm trying to keep an, an eye out for the balloon zombies. Okay, we need the fire pee. I, oh, dang it. Right as he was throwing that, I was... Oh, shoot. I'm messing up here. Let's swap this out for a spring bean. Just to send that back. I'm trying to click and drag and uh, that happens. Oh dang it, I, I thought I could get, get away with that. Okay. The chili bean at the bottom is going to be helpful. Although I'm going to need... I'm going to need the cold snapdragon up here now. Right, put that back. Okay, now I need the fire pea to help out up here. I think I'm just gonna blow that back. I just swapped an escape route with an escape route and that somehow worked. Oh shoot, they're really coming through here. I'm just gonna need to get rid of them there. It's almost the final wave, I think we'll manage. Get rid of that guy, please, please, guys. Oh, come on, not like that. All right, it's the final wave. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a Wheat Slinger here. In this unprotected row, and just go ham. Although that was not good timing, I could have waited there. Hit more of them. All that really matters is that the balloon zombies die. That's what really matters. So I need to deal with this Coral Cage zombie right now. We can stick the Fire Pea on that. Actually, no, we can stick the Hypno Shroom on that and just be done with it. There, that should be good, right? We can survive with four mowers. Let's actually move the... Let's move him here so he's hitting all these guys at once. And we're going to swap this guy around because I know this guy is close to... This guy needs the extra damage right now. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how happy I am just to be done with this level. <laughs> just let me, let me swap this away so he stops being slowed down. Okay, there we go. My gosh, that level was such a mess. I'm hoping this last one is a bit easier. But honestly, I don't think it's going to be. Alright, what zombies are we dealing with? Pretty much all the mechs. Oh, we have four. Well, we have like three and a half columns of mech or plants. Electric current as well. Well, how do I set this up? There's no way I'm going to do this first try. What am I meant to do with the electric current? What on earth am I meant to do with the electric current? I'm, I'm struggling to see like what the setup I need to do is. I feel like the, the infinites need to be further back, right? Because they... Because things like stop to eat them from like for that further back, but maybe not that far away.
Yeah, let's just do this right now. Can I swap things with the Holly Barrier's Leaf? I wonder. Oh, I can! Okay, that... That is an interesting... Revelation. So, if I just fire two things out, like, right here... I can go and, like, put the electric currents there. And that's, like, kind of a decent spot for them, you know? But then, let's get the infinites right behind them. I don't know, I may just be wasting my stuff here as well. Because I do want the infinites there. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to restart right now. This is definitely going to take me a few tries. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is only my third attempt, but I think I got an idea for what I want to do. I'm going to use the holly barrier to fire leaves like there. Um, and I'm going to put the electric currents there. So I create a nice little line. Oh my gosh, where is all my stuff at? Oh my gosh. There we go. And then I'm going to fire two more leaves here. And I'm going to swap the spike rock into that area. So they're kind of protected. So they're contributing. And then finally I'm going to put the infinites right here. So boom, those are super protected. Now we just gotta get the, like, everything else involved. Okay, okay, let's move the Citron up top now. So it hits that bucket head. But you can see that now the, the, um, the electric current is doing a lot of good work for us. I mean, and also it's gonna be super well protected because it's got that infinite in like the right spot. I, th I think I want more. Let's see if I can get this spike rock up close. I also, oh yeah, let's get the um, fat beat up front. It needs to help out here. Okay, let's swap the Endurian over here. Help with this cone head. Gosh, there's so much like happening on screen right right now. Yeah, I need to move the Citron so it's in this guy's row. I may need to start. Yeah, I need to swap the Endurian over to this guy now. But I don't want them to leave the fat beat out of this. Let's get it closer. Okay. This bottom row is looking pretty rough. Okay, luckily, it's going to have some time to, like, regenerate. Come on, Infinite. I need you to get back up to full HP ASAP. Okay, oh, let's get the Citron to help out here. Oh, no, I don't want you going down. Dang it, that was a wasted shot by the Citron. Okay, let's, again, let's put these um, Endurian in here. To help out against this guy here. I, I need... Let's put the... Let's put, let's put the Fat B back in the middle. So it's hitting mostly everything. I'm gonna put this um, Rotobega further up, actually. See, this is working. I like- there's actually like a setup to this level that seems to work. A 
Okay, I think I want the Citron here, because that's where that's coming. You know, I'm going to fire a leaf there. So I'm going to swap the Spike Rock, because the Spike Rock's kind of doing nothing right now. I need to get, um... Let me drag this, please. Thank you, game. Okay, let's get our fat beat back in the middle there. This is working. This is working. Oh my gosh. Let's get the Enduring back in. The work with this cone head. Okay, I think I see a situation up top that needs to be addressed. And that's the dancing robot there. There's so many do okay, I need I need the fat beat closer up, that's my problem. The fat beat is like responsible for thinning out all these like random jet pack guys. Yeah, the fat beat is actually quite good. Oh, let me swap! Oh, come on, game! I'm trying to click and drag, and it doesn't always go off. That's what makes this level... That's why, it's, that's why it makes this type of level so annoying to play through. Okay, we need some help up top, because that infinite's about to go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's have the Citron help down below now. I think I'm gonna move the fat beat closer to, to this guy's disco stuff here. Okay, let's have the snow pea help out against this mech so he doesn't eat as much. Well, we have all of our mowers intact. This level seems a lot easier than the other one. Because of the fact that I was able to plan stuff out by using the holly barrier leaves like this. And now we can move the citron up there to help up against that guy. All mowers attack, we just gotta make sure the flying guys don't get through at all. So I'm just gonna put the fat beat in the middle. Put the road let's put the rotabaga needs to be up front more. Yeah, I think we basically just about got this. Can always move this uh, Rotobega further back, which I might need to. Oh yeah, I still have the uh, Citron as well to help out. Let's move the Snow to help with Buckethead here. Okay, um, that mech is still alive somehow, but I think I'm gonna want it. Yeah, it's okay, it's almost dead. So now we can move this guy here. And now he's greatly weakened. Let's move the snow pea down here. It's, see, misclicking save wastes so much time, which I really hate. Well, I can also do this as well. There we go, now he's dead. Man, that level was so much easier than the last one. Oh my gosh. I think I spent like 50 minutes on the last one, and this one only took me like 15, I think. Like, total. But yeah, I'm so glad to be done with that. I hope you guys enjoyed that little epic quest there. Uh, next time we'll be moving back into the challenge levels, and yeah, as you can see, we only got three left. Unless more pop up, I think this will be like the last bout of challenge levels. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!